Developing news out of the state house, the governor just signed an executive order that recognizes out-of-state same-sex marriages in Rhode Island. Eyewitness News reporter Nako Nuosu is live in our newsroom now with more on what this means. Well, Susan, as you'll remember, Rhode Island approved civil unions for same-sex couples, but they still can't get married here. Gay rights advocates we spoke to say today's executive order is a step forward, but they say more needs to change. Are we overdue or what? Same-sex couples married out of state but living and working in Rhode Island did not get the same benefits as heterosexual married couples until now. Today I'm signing Executive Order 1202 to make it clear that Rhode Island recognizes and respects out-of-state same-sex marriages. And it'll make things easier for people like Deb Tevya. Her wife, Pat, recently died of cancer. Before she died, Pat fought to make sure Deb would have spousal rights and benefits. Trying to get answers about pension, survivor benefits, and Social Security. All things that most people in their last month of their life wouldn't be forced to worry about. But any time that you extend rights and liberties to equally to everybody in a society, that's where society benefits the most. It's, it's one step. It's not complete. The governor agrees more work needs to be done. There are too many Rhode Island couples who, even though they live, work, and raise a family here, were forced to marry in other states. Well, same-sex couples married out of state but living here in Rhode Island will get some but not all of the same benefits as heterosexual couples here. For example, they will not have the rights and benefits that are federally regulated like income tax and Social Security. Live in the newsroom, Neka Nuosu, Eyewitness News.